Hello and welcome to this video tutorial by Philip Danks. Today, we are going to be showing you how to speed up Windows XP. A few free simple tools which can be downloaded for free from the internet will help keep your computer running smoothly. One of the most common reasons that your computer slows down is due to your files being spread all over your hard drive. A simple defragment of your computer drive will significantly speed up your computer. Now, to defragment your drives in Windows XP, simply click on the Start menu and point to All Programs. Next click on Accessories and select System Tools. Choose Disk Defragmenter from the menu. Select the drive you would like to defragment and click the Analyze button. Once your drive has finished the analysis click the defragment button. Now the files on your drive will be defragmented and moved around for faster access. This can take anything between 5 minutes and a few hours depending on your system specifications.
Another way to speed up your computer is by deleting files that are not needed, such as temporary internet files and system logs. This can be achieved by downloading a free program called CCleaner. To download this simply visit www.ccleaner.com and download the latest version, which is currently version 3.0.0. Once you have downloaded and installed CCleaner, run the software. Under the Cleaner tab you will see an Analyze button. Click this and the software will automatically search for files that are not needed. You can change what files the software will include in the search in the left panel. Once the software has finished analyzing your drives, click on the Run Cleaner button to clear the unneeded files. This will automatically delete all the files it found. You can run this more than once to make sure it does not miss any files. Next, click on the Registry tab on the left of the window and click on the Scan for Issues button. This will automatically search your computer registry for any errors caused by the installation or uninstallation of programs, and the deletion of files. Once the scan is complete click on the Fix Selected Issues button. You can choose whether or not to make a backup of your registry settings before continuing. Now you can view each error in detail. If you wish to ignore that particular error select the next icon, or click Fix Selected Issue to automatically perform the recommended action. You can also fix all errors at once by clicking the Fix All Issues button. It is recommended to run the registry scan multiple times to ensure all the errors are found and dealt with. Now click on the Tools tab. From here you can uninstall any software you no longer use, and also delete startup items. Startup items are launched when you first log on to Windows and make your computer load up slower. You can also use the CCleaner built-in drive wiper. This tool can wipe your secondary hard drives, also known as a format. You can also wipe the free space on your drive to help speed up access times to your files. To wipe free space simply click the Drive Wiper tab and select the drives you want to wipe, and click on the Wipe button. This can take anything from 5 minutes to a few hours depending on the size of your drives, and also how much free space you have.
Conclusion Performing the operations in this tutorial increased our test computer by approximately 30% and reduced our boot up time by approximately 5 seconds. No additional computer memory or hardware needed to be added to significantly increase our computer speed, although to ensure your computer always runs fast we recommend having at least 1 GB of memory on a Windows XP computer. Upgrading your memory, hard drive and processor can also make a huge difference to your computer. Thank you for watching another tutorial by Philip Danks. As always please subscribe to us for future tutorials, and feel free to ask any questions you may have.